In this guide, I'll show you how to fix the issue where the service host process, or sometimes referred to as the SVC host process, is causing high CPU or disk usage inside of your Windows 11 computer. Now, these service host processes are often safe, but if you do have a virus on your computer, sometimes these can create service host malware to mimic legitimate service host files, and thus consume a bunch of resources, resulting in the high CPU issue. So before we start getting into the solutions, I'd suggest that you download an antivirus program onto your computer and just perform a full scan to make sure our computer is clean from any malware or viruses. There are a bunch of free antiviruses available if you don't already have one, just simply head over to a search engine and you just need to type something in like free antivirus and there'll be a bunch of options available. You can either use a free software like AVG or Avast or we can even use a paid software like Norton up here and just use the 30 day free trial and cancel before the trial's over and that way we can use a paid piece of software like Norton for absolutely free. So once you've ensured your computer is free from any threats, the first solution that we need to do is head over to our desktop and we're gonna come over to the start menu and just search for task manager. Head over to the task manager window and at the top in this search bar up here, we're just gonna search for diagnostic and you should see two service host processes appear here. Now the one we're looking for is this service host diagnostic policy and all we're simply gonna do is come over to this drop down arrow here and we're gonna right click on the diagnostic policy service and just select stop. Now, once you've done that, we can close out of the task manager window and we're next gonna come over to a start menu and search for run and then tap on the run icon. Inside of this window, we need to type in percentage sign win dir percentage sign slash system32 slash sru and then hit OK. And that's going to bring up a folder with all of these files inside. Now, the only file we're interested in is this .dat file down here, this sru db.dat. I'm just going to right click on this file and then select the trash icon to delete it. Now for most of you that should have fixed your issue so if you come back over to the task manager you can check to see if that's now working. If that's not fixed the issue then what you'll need to do is come back over to the start menu and this time search for services and then come over to the services application. Scroll all the way down to the bottom here and we're looking for a process called Windows Update and once you've found this Windows Update service just double click on this and you need to change the startup type from automatic to manual. And we're just gonna stop this service by clicking the stop button here. And you can go ahead and press apply and okay to save these changes. And then lastly, we can close out of this window and we're gonna head back over to the start menu and search for run, tap on the run icon. And this time you need to type in MS config and then hit enter. And from here, come over to the services tab in the top and you need to select this button down here where it says hide all Microsoft services. And then we're gonna go ahead and just press disable all. Now this is gonna disable any third party applications from running on our computer when we first start it up as sometimes third party applications can be the reason why the service host processes are so high. So I'd recommend just disabling all of these and then you need to press apply and okay to save these changes. Now at this point in time, we'll need to restart our computer. So you could just go ahead and press this restart button. And once your computer's restarted, that should have now fixed any issues you were having with the service processes. If this video did help you, then please consider dropping a like and subscribing. Until next time.